It's Dawn here with Well Explored. I am on a fam trip to Eleuthera. So we just arrived to the other side and this property I've already looked at for some retreats. It is somewhat, I think, of a glamping property if I understand properly, but we will have a look at that. And, ah, hello, who are you? Oh, hi, oh, hi, hi, okay. <laughs> boathouse at the other side and this is a room that opens up all these doors around open up to the outside and they call it the boathouse because you have the water right behind me but this is a great place for yoga um, you would do a buyout here at the other side for only 12 rooms so super intimate but I'm really enjoying this so you have the beach right here and then all of these cottages are truly beachfront where are we headed to now? Oh, this is one of the little huts. This is what she was talking about. I think this is the entry room category. So, this is so cute. Jeep, everything included. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> so this is what a lot of the families will use too. Yes, because so they'll, they'll have the tent next door, but the tent yeah. being just the king size, then they get the more. This is very cute, but you have three of these with two beds. Yes. You have a little shower in here, bathroom. Okay, so this is one of the tents here. So how many are, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, we're six of us here in the shower all together. Oh <laughs> and we wow. all walked in and said, wow. wow. <laughs> oh, that is They've cool. coming and feeding them, so these turtles have become quite tame. They'll mm -hmm. swim right up to you. Sometimes you have three, four of them around you. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. cute. So the, pool, the pool has been on the cover of Condé Nast. Um, it is salt water, so we just pump in the water and every now and again give it a good scrub and then we back out again. I love how they call these rooms. There's huts and sheds and shacks and tents. So this is a shed. <laughs> so these are the shacks. So the other side is a really intimate experience. There's only 12 rooms. They're all sort of tents, but they have their own private bathrooms and really super uh, luxury. Luxury, a little bit rustic, but really nice for weddings as well. Love that dining area. So Okay, so I'm on the mainland on Eleuthera now, and I have a car. I'm traveling by myself. Um, I just made it over to the Sapphire Blue Hole, and then I'll go over to Preacher's Cave. It is so quiet here, and this is spectacular. Now, I'm not really insane. I'm not gonna jump in this blue hole all by myself because, <laughs> you know, who knows, I might not come out, but I'm not gonna go in by myself. Um, if there was somebody else here with me, for sure, I would be the first to jump in there. But check this out, you have to actually climb back up a rope to get out. This is a really, really cool experience. There's, there's the rope. It's so quiet here. I'm gonna sit for a few minutes. Okay, so I made it over to Preacher's Cave and I hear that this is a real highlight in Eleuthera. So I'm going to check it out and I'll bring you along to have a look. And it's really 
peaceful, super giant. I could see coming here and doing a class, um, a meditation class in here would be amazing. So, wow, I'm kinda gonna step in now. Let's see, it's a big hole up on top here. Check this out. And there's all of this space here. You have sunlight over here. This would be such a great place to come to and do a class for sure, raising yoga mats. Oh my God, I wanna do that. So I made it to the glass bridge. Oh, this is so amazing. So it's this little piece of concrete here that is, is a bridge, it's basically a rock, and it separates between the Caribbean, or what people call the Caribbean, and the Atlantic over here. So that's pretty spectacular.